Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today in this episode of WIT Triple E Questions with Solution, we're going to be looking at the third subject that we commonly get asked in WIT Triple E, which is chemistry. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at some questions of chemistry, which were asked in WIT Triple E 2013. So let's start off with our first question. So we have a set of reagents, which is CH3 twice Cl, CCl, AlCl3, and then Cl2, FeCl3, and HBr, and heat. So if you are treating anisole with the following reagents, then you need to find out which of these is the major product obtained. So we have four options here. Which of these is the correct option? So. In order to solve this question, we need to first understand the structure of anisole. Well, anisole is the benzene ring along with an OCH3 group. So, benzene ring with an acyl group, as, as, with an anhydride group, gives you anisole. So, this is anisole, and we're going to start treating it with the following, with the re reagents given. So here's anisole, which is the benzene ring along with OCH3. Then we're going to treat it with CH3 thrice CCl in the presence of AlCl3. Now, in this case, what, what is occurring is alkylation because an alkyl group that is CH3 thrice is getting added here. And moreover, since we're using AlCl3, then that should give you the clue that this reaction is friedel crafts alkylation. So we're adding an alkyl group and the presence of AlCl3, that means we're undergoing friedel crafts alkylation reaction. So after anisole undergoes friedel crafts alkylation reaction, the, the, group, the primary group OCH3 is still there, but you have a a trimethyl group that gets added to this compound. So after the trimethyl group gets added, next step is to react it with Cl2 and FeCl3. Now this step is basically chlorination. So as you can see, the chlorine Cl2 will get added to the compound here. So once it gets added to the compound, you will get the benzene ring along with the OCH3 group. Then we have the CCH3 thrice substituent along with a chlorine substituent at the ortho end. So now from here, we will heat this compound with HBr. So heating along with HBr is, you know, results in formation of OH group. So when HBr is, uh, is treated along with the compound which is heated, then we get OH, C, CH3 twice, and then chlorine. So this is the final product that we get after reacting anisole with the three reagents, so you get OH, so you get, you know, one chloro and then four trimethyl phenol. So this is the product that we get. And from the four options, it is clear that option four is the correct answer to this question. So when we treat anisole with the following reagents, we get we get chloro for trimethyl phenol. So now let's look at the next question. Ketones, which are RCOR dash, where R and R dash are alkyl groups, can be obtained in one step by A hydrolysis of esters, B oxidation of primary alcohols, C oxidation of secondary alcohols, D reaction of acid halide with alcohols. So there are many ways to obtain ketones, but over here, 
the catch is that we have to get it in one step only. So we have four options. Option A says hydrolysis of esters. But ester hydrolysis in its first step gives you a carboxylic acid plus alcohol. So then we have to act further in order to get a ketone. So this is not a reaction in one step. So option A is incorrect. Option B, oxidation of primary alcohols. So oxidation of primary alcohols gives you aldehydes and carboxylic acids in its first step. So therefore, option B is also incorrect. Option D, reaction of acid halide with alcohols. So that gives you, so basically acid, al acid halide plus alcohol gives you esters plus a hydrogen halide. Um, halide, yeah, HX. So options A, B, and D are incorrect. The correct option is option C, oxidation of secondary alcohols. So if we look at a secondary alcohol, R, C, R dash, so CH, then OH. So then when it undergoes oxidation with, you know, various reagents such as K2Cr2O7 and H2SO4, or you can use, you know, PCC and CH2Cl2, then you get ketones are C R dash double bond with O. So ketones contain the alkyl group. I mean, yeah, the ketones contain the carbonyl group present in between two, you know, hydrocarbons. So therefore, option C, oxidation of secondary alcohols is the correct answer. Now let's look at the final question of this episode. Phenol is heated with phthalic anhydride in the presence of concentrated H2SO4. The product gives pink color with alkali. The product is a phenolphthalein, B, bakelite, C, salicylic acid, D, fluorescein. So we have phenol on one end. So that is C6H5OH plus we have phthalic anhydride. So this here is phthalic anhydride, C double bond O, C double bond O, O. So this, so we have phenol reacting with phthalic anhydride. So what happens is that coupling takes place. So when coupling takes place, one of the phthalic anhydride molecules will now attach itself to two of the phenol molecules. So then you have phenol here, OH, so we have two phenols bonding with one phthalic anhydride. So as you can see, the O gets uh, attracted to two H's. So then we have the reaction with H2SO4 concentrated. And in this case, water is removed. So water is removed in order to form the bond for the new compound, which is this. So we have the benzene ring and then C at one end, double bond O, and then you have O. The other C is also bound to this O, and then it's also bound to both of the phenol molecules. So this is the structure that we get. And if you were to look at the other structures, option B, Bakelite, would look like this. 
a monomer of Bakelite would look like this, and then that is multiplied n times, so that's not e equivalent to what we get here. Option C is salicylic acid, which again is not what we get. Fluorescein, that is option D, looks like this. So this product has to be option A, phenolphthalein. Now, there was another clue that would have led you to phenolphthalein. The product gives pink color with alkali. And when we were studying acid spaces and salts in our grade 10 syllabus, you would know that phenolphthalein was the indicator which turns pink with alkali. And we used that in grade 12 using when titrating, you know, the correct amount of KMnO4. So if you want to learn about more about phenolphthalein and acid bases and salts, you can check out our mind maps playlist, which contains that chapter for grade 10. So option A is the correct answer for this question. We checked out the reaction for phenol and thalic anhydride. So phenol plus thalic anhydride gives you phenolphthalein. So that concludes this episode of Brain Blitz Audios. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope uh, you can you have understood the questions that we've discussed. If you want to access more of our videos regarding VIT Tripoli, you can hit the playlist link, which is present in the description below. If you want to access and get updates about our latest content, then don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So that's all folks. We hope you found this episode interesting. Until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.